Whoa, here we go. Whoo! <laughs> Got some energy this morning. <laughs> some fluffy hair as well. I washed it. Oh. So we're just packing up Bumblebee. It's a cold morning this morning. Let's see what the temperature on the bike is. <sighs> Three degrees the bike is recording this morning. <gasps> Look at my breath. Yeah, it's cold. Luckily inside is some hot coffee waiting for us. Cheers. 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 It's good German bread, hey? There you go. Look at that. Bumblebee is so ready. Oli is so ready. And I'm ready too. Good morning, world. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, guys. We are here just outside of Hanover in Germany, and I've got fluffy hair too this morning. Too many showers, I think. We've been here for the past 10 days, having a good rest and seeing Lavi's family. Yeah, it was actually really cool because we just reached the time here as well when my grandmother had her 80th birthday, so we could catch up with everyone and we had a good celebration. Love you guys. Yeah, it's been a really nice rest here and Lavi changed Bumblebee's battery. So today is the day. My daddy donated us a new battery, <laughs> a new life for Bumblebee. Let's see if we can change it by ourselves. It's our first time, so it will be interesting. Okay, das sind hier die ganzen, die auf ja. diese Seite dran kommen. Ja, du hast ja Foto gemacht, ne? Ja. Das war doch hier irgendwie so ein bisschen... Haben sie das hier? Yay! <lacht> Thank you, old battery! Yes, genau. You, you helped us a lot. Okay, du hältst das, ne? Ja. Die, okay, gut, 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 halt die. So the battery is in now. Let's just see if we can turn the bike on. Alles gut? Läuft. And I tried Bumblebee this morning and still working. Oh, yeah, before we put that on the bike. Puppy! <laughs> Are we ready to go to space? Yes! Bumblebee to the moon! <laughs> I am so glad that we finally changed the battery on Bumblebee or that you finally changed the battery on Bumblebee. I mean, it was getting to the point where it was just ridiculous. And again. Yep. Let's just bring it all the way out. Okay, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> okay, shall we see if Bumblebee's new battery is any good? Wait, come on. Come on. Okay, turn it off again. Uh huh. Come on, Bumblebee. Yes! Yes! Oh man, my heart! That was like the closest Bumblebee has come to oh. really not turning on. Bumblebee's fired up. Fired up! Are you ready to rock and roll? Totally! Bye bye! See you! <laughs> bye bye! Oh, bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> oh. 
for the last 10 days I almost felt like we were already home yeah <laughs> I felt like we had already finished the trip me too oh. but we have still some distance ahead hey we are not in England just yet no but we have now worked out our final rides to get from here in Germany back to the UK so let me show you guys the plan for the last five rides so we are here and over the next five days we're going to be heading from Hanover across to the Netherlands down to Belgium across to France over the channel to England and on to our final destination London Wow, it sounds so weird when you say that. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we can finally put a number on it. The whole time I was like, oh, we don't really know how many more it's going to be. Well, now yeah. we have mapped it out and we know that it's one ride over to the Netherlands, which is where we're heading today. Then one ride to the south of the Netherlands, one ride to Belgium, one ride to the ferry and over the channel, and then one ride to London. Five rides and this journey is over. Which is kind of crazy to say, I really, really, really cannot believe it. When we were stuck like in South America or somewhere, it felt like this journey like will be never ever finished at any point. <laughs> Even when we were in Turkey, I felt yes. like this journey was never going to be finished. I know, I know. I mean, Turkey was such a massive country. Yes. It was like surprisingly big. Yeah. But now the distances are surprisingly small. I'm so glad that Bumblebee is working well. I'm so glad that it's not raining at the moment. Even though it's been really, really stormy, it's been really bad weather over the past 10 days. At the moment, it's just cloudy. So we might be all right, at least for the start of this ride. Yeah. Yeah, we're not asking for much weather gods. <laughs> just five not rainy days would mm -hmm. be nice. Yes, please. After that, we're going into hibernation anyway, so. <laughs> so yes, now we are heading over to Lavi's mother's place to go and say goodbye before hitting the road properly towards the Netherlands. Yes, so it's about a four and a half hours ride and it's already 10 o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello! <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> and guys, do you know what I just saw? We just hit 46,000 miles on the road! Love you. Bye bye. Cheers, mommy. Cheers, mommy. Oh. 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 Yeah, I mean, people who see our bike, they just can't believe it, hey? My mom just said, wow, that's a big machine. <laughs> yeah. Because on pictures, Bumblebee doesn't look very big. But when you see Bumblebee in real life, you think, like, okay. It's just an adventure behemoth. So we decided this morning to start by taking the Autobahn through the German part of the ride because it's a little bit too far to ride if we don't use motorways to ride all the way to where we're heading in the Netherlands. I think it was something like six or seven hours ride. And it's crazy because taking the Autobahn up until the Netherlands border cut off about two hours of the ride. So we were like, no, we have to take the Autobahn. Yeah, so we'll take the Autobahn until we reach reach the Netherlands and then we're going to go on some smaller roads for the second half of the ride. And anyway, we are here in Germany so we have to take the Autobahn. <laughs> yeah, this is like a rite of passage. I mean, we did take a small section of Autobahn during our second ride in Germany, but it was really a tiny little section and it was raining. This will be our first long stretch on the Autobahn. I'm just ready to try out Bumblebee's top speed. Let's do it. No. no I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll take it nice and easy. Nice and easy, hey? Nice and easy no especially like the last five rides now we have to be even more conscious because we're nearly home you know I don't want to ruin it yeah at this point it's like just make it back yeah. without any major issues exactly please 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 but I think I will overtake this truck though because I'm about to be overtaken by another truck I should at least go a little bit faster than these trucks yeah I think so too Oh 
Oh no, we are only one hour into the journey and it's already started raining. Yeah. I really thought we'd get a few more hours. It's not very nice. Eh? It was looking so promising when yeah. we left. Like really, I was like, oh yeah, maybe we'll be all right for the day. And it really doesn't look better ahead. No. And uh, the forecast that we checked over the next few days is basically there is a storm heading over from the west. So if anything, this weather is only going to get worse. Anyway, we just have to power on, hey? Yeah. Power on on the Autobahn. Exactly. It wouldn't be an overland adventure without a little bit of rain now, would it? <laughs> <laughs> I always go way too close to the pumps. Look at that. <laughs> full, full. Thank you. I checked online and if you go to the petrol station on the Autobahn, the petrol costs two euro thirty. And if you're just coming off the Autobahn, um, we get petrol here for one euro seventy-seven. So that's really good. Look, my throttle hand mm -hmm. has no holes, and my clutch hand has holes. I would have thought it would be the opposite. I think it's also a good idea at this point to put on my waterproof Oxford glove covers. Oh yeah, look at that. Woohoo! And the problem is I can never be bothered to put these on. I know, but it will make a huge difference. It's going to make a big difference, yeah. Because it's certainly going to rain a lot today, I think. Yeah. Okay, ready to rock and roll? Yes. Ah, oh, it's getting worse. It's terrible. Terrible. Oh man. Not lucky today. Okay, there's too much rain. Time to take off the media mod. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so nice and warm. <laughs> Man, it's cold out there, hey. Just having a hot chocolate because it is cold out there. And because of the rain and the wind and the speed that we're going on the Autobahn, then it's just like, yeah, I got really cold and my fingers were starting to hurt. So then I said to Lavi, you know, we've just got to stop. We've got to get a hot drink, warm up a little bit. Yeah, I'm absolutely freezing and my legs, my trousers, everything is wet. <laughs> We probably should have invested in some better waterproofs but we had like one week left to go we were just like let's just get to the end but i'm starting to regret that we didn't buy some new waterproof clothing and we've got some leftover pasta from last night so i'm gonna eat some pasta have a hot drink and then get back to it it's been ages since i've had a hot chocolate oh they're so good and this is like a dark hot chocolate it's just so chocolatey and so warm and so good Mmm, mm. it's good now. Mm. <laughs> Look, coffee plus couch equals happiness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to get back out there? No, me neither. So we just made it into the Netherlands, Woo! country number 38 on our trip around the world. And I'm sorry if there's water on the lens, but there's water everywhere. So now we've routed 
off of the autobahn, off of the highways. And the GPS says it's going to take us another two hours and eight minutes to get to our destination. And the rain is still going, but we're going to push through it. raining finally look blue skies ah! that is amazing so we have one hour more to go oh green I think we have to take a ferry to cross this river. No way. So we just used that opportunity to put the media mod back on. So we can talk again. Hello everyone again. Hello. And we're also taking a ferry. How cool is that? Oh. Yeah, we had no idea. We just rocked up. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> How cool is that, hey? <laughs> like the Garmin just literally rooted us to here. And then we were like, what? This is a river what? and there's no bridge. <laughs> Turns out we get a ferry ride today. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Look how big this boat is. Oh yeah, cool. Look at this barge. Hello. Hello. The cash or card? Ca what do you want? <laughs> what, what, do you, what I want? Okay, um, card. card please. Yeah. yeah. Go okay. Ah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Cool. Thank you. Oh, we're on, we're moving. We're going. <laughs> Thank you. Bye -bye. Hey, we're on a boat! We're on a boat! We're on a boat! Here you go, card, tickets. So I think the whole boat is actually just attached to this line here. So actually we're not like sailing across the river, we're just sort of pulling ourselves across the river. That's mega fast. Whoa, it's going up already. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, that was a nice little event for the afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Unexpected ferry ride. Yeah. It's the best kind of ferry ride. Plus, in the distance, we could see our very first Netherlands windmill. So we've got another 45 minutes to go. So let's just hope that we can at least stay dry for the last 45 minutes of the ride. Yeah, but I mean, look at this road here. <laughs> How is fun great. is this road? It feels like a, we're riding on a bicycle lane or something. Yes, it's really, really cool. And look at this house with thatched roof. Yeah. It's really cool. Oh, I can see a windmill coming up in the distance. What a cute place. Yeah, and look just here. It's a windmill! Yes, look at that! Oh, beautiful! Very cool! Nice! Really cute, Netherlands! Really cute! Okay, 
Here we are, Water Park Veluamir. So, reception just here. Oh yeah, there we go. So I totally forgot to mention why we're here at this place. We got a message from a Netherlands biker couple, Kia and Marco, and they basically said to us, oh, if you need a place to stay in the Netherlands, you can come stay at our summer house. So then we messaged them back uh, last week and said, yes, we're coming to the Netherlands. We want to stay at your summer house. That sounds awesome. And they said, oh, our summer house is booked. But we have like, I don't know, a friend's summer house or another summer house that you guys can stay in. So yeah, come along and you can just stay in another summer house, which is absolutely awesome. So thanks Kia and Marco. We are gonna get the keys and we're gonna go check out this awesome summer house. So this is Bolo. Bolo, Bolo the bear. The mascot for the, this lake or for this place. For all of this area. Hello Bolo! <laughs> and you also have this like really cool little car. No way. That's top speed. <laughs> oh it looks cozy in here. I just met Bolo the bear. So you got the keys? Yes. Okay, number 12 is this one. Just that. I guess this is our parking space. Oh my god, this is nice! Cool, look at that! Oh. I'm in love! <laughs> oh, nice, let's go check it out. Cool! I feel like a homeowner! We get this whole place! Oh, no way! Cool, this is so cozy! I did not realize that it was going to be like a whole house. I, I mean, they did say summer house, yeah. but they really meant like summer house, like a whole house. Wow, Kia and Marco, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I can't believe it that we have the whole place for ourselves. It's absolutely amazing. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Let's get off our kit and then we do a whole house tour. So we organized ourselves a little bit and let me show you around. We have our beautiful bedroom with, with a whole shower room. Whoa, that's a big shower. Amazing. <laughs> nice. Bathroom just here around the corner. Then here's our big kitchen and living space and let me show you the upstairs here's the kids room <laughs> for our imaginary kids <laughs> i feel some like underfloor heating here a little bit no. I feel there does that feel like underfloor heating yeah perhaps here's another bathroom and then here is oh Look at that. It's got a bathtub. I almost forgot. We made it! Happy to live! Yes! Woo! Welcome to the Netherlands! Yes! So today was definitely quite a challenging day. A lot of rain, some really, really cold fingers and toes. But then it ended up in the last hour to be quite nice, actually. The sun came out, we were on quieter roads, we dried off quite well. And we had an amazing little ferry ride. That's true, yeah, an impromptu ferry ride. Mm -hmm. And then we end the day here, so it can't get better than that. And it's really cool because we are actually gonna be seeing Kia and Marco in a couple of days when we make our way from where we are in the north of the Netherlands all the way to the south in Eindhoven. And Kia and Marco are also gonna be joining us on our ride from Eindhoven into Belgium, which is awesome. And they've also put the word out to see if other people in the Netherlands want to join us. So maybe we're gonna have a Netherlands convoy? <laughs> It would be absolutely amazing and I'm super excited to meet you guys. But we're going to be staying here for the next couple of days, doing a bit of editing and enjoying this amazing summer house. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. Also, we decided that we're going to get Domino's pizza tonight. So I'm really excited about that. 20 minutes later. Woo! <laughs>
Domino's Pizza! Oh.